What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so yes, we did a little something in the last episode. We won our first badge in Kanto, and that is against Lieutenant Surge. You know, Guile from Street Fighter, that dude. You know him. The one that saved everybody from the war. The Great War of Pokemon and all that stuff. Anywho, um, yeah. We won our first badge, and that was actually thanks to Thrasher, our initial Pokemon from the very beginning. You know, that guy, that Pokemon, you know, did a pretty good job. Good combination and all that stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. And I kind of realized that, you know, going into this uh, this whole journey right here in Kanto, we're going to we're going to be needing everybody on our arsenal. And then eventually, when we get to, I would like to say Fuchsia City, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff over there. That's going to enable us to actually get more Pokemon onto our arsenal to finish up this whole walkthrough. And that's what I'm intending to do because, well, shoot. We all know what happens at the very end. Now, we can't go anywhere near Pewter City because there's a Snorlax covering uh, the, the Diglett's Cave. So now we're going to be going north. And we're going to be going straight to Route 6. Battling some Pokemon. Some trainers. Grabbing some items like the TM62 Silver Wind. This move is one of the most powerful moves for a bug type Pokemon. And yeah, purposely we're gonna be battling everybody. So let's go right ahead and do that. Well, good old Draven starts ranting. And well, as you guys can see, here's a Cherubi. We're starting out, we're gonna start filling up our Pokedex a little bit more. And Togepi is kicking some butt, taking some names, you know, just uh, growing some levels by not battling and all that stuff. And, well, speaking of a double battle, let's go right ahead. Hmm. Who hasn't gotten love from us? Let's go with Nessie, because in the last episode, we had a bench Nessie for, for Thrasher, and for obvious reasons. And, well, are you going to beat us? We'll knock you flat. Okay, so here we go. Taking on... The twins. There are a lot of twins in the, in the both regions, and as you guys can see, they have a both a plusle and a minum right here. And we're gonna go with the rain dance, and that right there kind of wow that helped them. Wow, biggest mistake I've ever made. Okay, so yeah, I kind of uh, I kind of helped them in in such a way right there. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so let's go with the strength attack, and here we go. That's one. There's level 45. And a thunder attack paralyzes us, and there it is. Wow. Okay, so that was on me, guys. That was on me. If you guys don't know, the combination of rain dance and thunder. Thunder is what? 120 base a, uh, damage, but 70 accuracy. But if you combine it with rain dance, it's going to hit you every single time. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, okay, so one of our Pokemon has grown a level, so let's go right ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and use that rare candy. Let's go ahead and give it to Dark Side. Now it's at level 46. The goal right here, too, is to evolve our Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and revive uh, Nessie. Nessie right now just doesn't like me. And give it a few super potions. There we go. Hercules needs, uh, you know, this. So there we go. Okay, so uh, <laughs> there it is. Let's move on and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here. I wonder what kind of Pokemon this guy will have. Looking along the luggage in your Pokemon com or your companion Pokemon gives a great feeling of the outdoor life. Okay, so he's saying he's saying some stuff right here. So here we are taking on Virgil, and well, let's go with a rock slide. Going up against a slack off, and well, yes. Yeah, yeah, we 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 are gonna be doing some damage right here with a good old Pupitor and whatnot, and I kind of feel like there's a let's see, hold on. Okay, so how do we... Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to do anything. Okay, so if you go up straight up here, the road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. There is a power plant issue, and, well, we're going to be going into the Saffron... Or we're going to be going into Saffron City. As you guys can see, welcome to the Saffron City, home of the Magnet Train. That's what I would normally say, but the magnet train isn't running now. It's not getting any electricity because there's something wrong at the power plant. So there's, again, another something afoot. A Bigfoot and all that stuff. So here it is, guys. Saffron City. And, yeah. First things first, guys. We're going to be going straight to Mr. Psychic's house because he's got a little something for us that we need. We desperately need. So, let's see. Hmm. 
Hmm. I got it. You wanted this. We got ourselves the TM29. This, of course, is psychic. It may lower the special target or the target special defense. So it's pretty good. Very, very good move. And, uh, well, let's see. What is there to do here in Saffron? Not a lot, guys. Not a lot. There's a Pokemon Center. There is the... There is the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, hold on. The, the, the Silphco, which many of you guys already know, three years prior to this game. There has been a, a lot... There has been a little issue there. The Silphco, famous for Pokemon mer merchandise. Is, well, is famous for Pokemon merchandise. In the past, Team Rocket wanted a company because of that. And it is true. Okay, so let's see. Here it is. Look at that! That's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's that, that, that's good. And, well, if you talk to this guy, he's like, Hey, you! The elevator uh, there is out of order. Something is wrong with the electricity. It won't work right. I feel like so I feel sorry that you wasted a trip. Uh, so, here, here's a gift for you. And we get ourselves the upgrade, which, you know... It actually evolves a Porygon into Porygon 2. And if you talk to this lady, welcome to the Self Co. Had his office in the building. Okay, so there's nothing right here. Eventually, guys, you won't be able to go up to the building because of security measures and all that crud. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. What else can we do here? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a, you know, there's this. If you go right here, the fighting dojo is going to be right next door to the uh, right next door to the Saffron City gym, which we will be getting to in a little bit. And there is literally nobody here. Wow! Talk about maintenance and stuff. Hello, Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Jojo for further training. Which, uh, wow, we won't be getting to until later on, guys. I mean. We, we do need every TM and HM and all that stuff. And this is the Kanto Johto Magnet Train Line, Saffron City Station. And just like in Goldenrod City, it won't work because of the issue going on in, uh, in well, the, uh, the issue going on in the power plant, which we will eventually get to. And, well, the copycat house is right here. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. So, what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna be going straight to the Pokemon Gym, because I did promise more gym battles and all that stuff. Now, let's see. We do have the right Pokemon for these guys, for this situation right here. I do believe so. Huh. You know what? Hold on just a sec, guys. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and, well, we made a switch. We are going to be going with Rainbow Chicken in this episode right here because, well, yeah. Something about this gym just gives me the eebie-jeebies. And on top of it all, yeah, we need the more, we, we need literally the more firepower and all that stuff. So, here is the only guy that's ever believed in us. He's like, yo, legend in the making. A trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with Psychic-type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. Well, that is cool. Let's go right ahead and go into the teleportation pads right here and uh, get ready to battle everybody we see here. Now, this gym is famous for, of course, its psychic type Pokemon and psychic users, I should say, too, because, well, you know, a lot of these Pokemon trainers may or may not have these specific, you know, traditional psychic type Pokemon. They may have, like, you know, ghost types and all that stuff. And as you guys can see here, we're going to be going up against trainers with uh, different Pokemon from other regions and whatnot. So let's go with a Signal Beam. And that right there is not, not that effective. So let's go straight for a Discharge Attack and bam. So let's go ahead and take on Hypno, as many of you guys already know. Okay. As many of you guys already know, Bug-type moves are very effective against Psychic types. And just like that, we, we did some damage to Hypno. Thankfully, we are now in what? I believe this is Generation 4. So, Bug-type, there, there, there's been quite a few more, you know, like Bug-type moves out there. So, we don't have to rely just on Dark-types or Ghost-types or anything like that. So, let's move on. Battle everybody we see. And do our thing. And go right here. And, let's see. Take on this guy right here. The Fighting Dojo next door was once the city's gym. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so here we go, taking on Psychic Jared, and he's gonna be coming out with his Mr. Mime. Of course, we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, speeding this up just a little bit. And many of you guys already know, Psychic type Pokemon like to use Barrier. They like to use uh, what was it called? Uh, spec or what was it? Light Screen, just to prevent any kind of damage to their defenses. 
Remember, a lot of them are very, very weak against physical uh, uh, attacks. So if you have a very big physical hitter, kind of like, you know, Snorlax and all that stuff, then, you know, use that. Just use it. Now, there is something right here. I kind of want to earn a little more money. So let's see. Let's go with, uh, no, actually, let's not do that. We do have quite a few items that we can, you know, get some more money. Let's go with uh, Cinder. And, well, let's go right ahead and use another full restore on our Pokemon right here. Okay, now, we did give the experience share to to Pupitar right here because we, we do want to evolve it into its full form. And, well, look at this. Foo -foo -foo, I see it clearly. I can see into your spirit. That, 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 that's creepy. Anywho, here we go, taking on Medium Darcy, and she will be coming out with a Slowpoke. That's easy, easy, easy stuff for us. So, Love Volt, take care of them all. And Darcy has been defeated. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next spot. And, well, would you look at that? <laughs> we got to Sabrina. Now, we would battle everybody, but we kind of want to just, like, you know, we kind of want to just get it over and done with. So, here it is, guys. Sabrina, our girlfriend. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I need to save this game before before things happen because I kind of have a feeling about this one. I'm just saying. Okay, so let's go right ahead. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it is my duty as a gym leader to confer badges to anyone who has proven him, him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Let's go! Mm, 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 mm. Sabrina. Mm. Look at her. Look at fantastic as always. And here we're taking her on, and she's going to be coming out with her Espeon. Okay, maximum effort. Let's go. Signal beam. Thankfully, the Quick Claw has actually helped us. Now, be careful. Crap baskets. Do be careful, guys, because, uh, yeah. When they use Signal Beam, it's going to be a bad one. And, well, look at that. Just out of luck, we win. Holy crud. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Mime is going to be coming up next. Let's go with Dark Side right here. It is still a Dark type Pokemon. Let's go with a Screech Attack right here. And, oh, wow. Okay, so Psychic Attack still work on my Pokemon. Crap Baskets. Okay. Rainbow Chicken. And Fly. Oh, wow. Fly Attack. And just like that, Rainbow Chicken is kicking some butt, taking some names. And yes, we're going to keep it against Alakazam right here. Hey, right, Alakazam, bring it. What will happen after this? I already know. Fly attack. And here comes a Reflect. That will cut our attack in half. So let's go straight for a Sunny Day. And go for a Sacred Fire and Crap Baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. But we do have the Sunlight. This will enable Cinder to actually hit it a little harder in Crap Baskets. Okay, th that right there. Wow, okay. Flamethrower attack. God dang it. Okay, so we missed out on something because I, you know, I was a little too quick to the trigger. Nessie, please help us out. Rain Dance. And Waterfall. And we got to go for one more Waterfall. God dang it. Okay, so... All right, Flood Volt. Now we got to go straight for, you know, healing factors right here. So let's go with the Max Revive. Rainbow Chicken. And here comes an Energy Ball that finishes off. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so I think that the Reflect has gone off. So let's go with a Fly Attack right here. And just like that, we win. Holy crap, Baskets. That was difficult. I get it. Yes. Your power, it far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself the Marsh Badge. And look at that, we get ourselves the Marsh Badge. Okay, we we saved ourselves pretty good. I failed to accurately predict your power. That means that your power is beyond my psychic ability. You deserve this. Please take this TM2 and we get ourselves the TM48. I believe this is skill swap. Yeah. It swaps the abilities between your Pokemon and the user it's targeted, and you will be uh, become a celebrated and beloved champion. Yes. Um, what else can you say? Your love for Pokemon? Smash my psychic abilities. The ability to love, I think, is some kind of psychic ability. It is. I'll see you later, baby. Okay. So, we are back. 
And, uh, well, that right there is two badges in Kanto. And, of course, our mama is going to be like, Hey, Draven, guess who bought something with your money? Me. Okay, so, yeah, we, 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 we need to go there. So, yeah. <laughs> we definitely need to go there. So, let's go right ahead and see what our mom has bought us. I do get it. I do get it. We, we, we kind of did use a legendary Pokemon to win this battle. But, you know what? I did say we're using every Pokemon in our disposal. So, yes. Don't care. And, well, let's see. We get ourselves a Chipotle Berry. Almost called that a Chipotle Berry. And there's no further packages. Okay, so... That right there is that. So before we end up, or we finish this episode, guys, there is a little something I want to talk about. And that is that, you know, if you look down down the description, a little bit further down on the description, your boy Draven has finally got himself a merch store. This comes with the benefits of, of having the subscriber count that I have. Never thought that this would actually happen. And I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys who have supported my channel over the years. Never ever thought that, you know, I would get to this point, especially with, you know, uh, you know, a, an actual store for myself. So if you guys are feeling, you know, gracious and if you guys are feeling like charitable and all that stuff, there is a uh, there is what was it called? Um, there are some merchandise right there with my logo. If you wish to take a take a gander and, uh, you know, and help support your boy right here. Cannot believe it's finally happened, guys. We made it. I kind of feel like we made it. But yes, we're going to get continue doing this. And again, I am very, very happy that I'm very thrilled to have done, well, to have accomplished this. And it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we, well, let's see. I kind of want to take a small, nah, you know what? We're going to go for the next badge. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we go up against Erica, the Jill Meter. See ya.